Well, it's a fabulous time for Indian football and all thanks to our national team for producing brilliant performance on the pitch and winning intercontinental against uh, uh, an opponent uh, we haven't beaten for quite long. Uh, we winning convincingly over Lemna, uh, we could display that our level have gone up. And then to in SAF uh, beating Lebanon with uh, and lifting the SAF championship for the ninth time is definitely icing on the cake. Uh, it shows the team is focused and we are determined uh, to improve every aspect of the game and we could engage bigger number of fans uh, and the kind of uh, capacity crowd what we witnessed uh, especially in Bangalore uh, it's incredible we would like to thank all the fans for coming out in huge number to back our national team they deserve it and I'm sure this is just the beginning and where the team will feel that they are not left alone. They get all the support from all the stakeholders and fans deserves our greater appreciation uh, for doing all that to lift the spirit of the team, lift the spirit of everyone uh, in the team and also uh, for everyone who are working very hard to take Indian football forward. Yeah, see, the SAF championship exhibited that we have grown in status and that time itself our ranking moved up to we are now 100 ranked country and it is for us to take the momentum forward and continue to engage with our stakeholders and we need to do more and more for the game and we need the support of everyone because the national team will now next play only in the King's Cup in Thailand. That's a away game and we are expecting that our team will continue the momentum from here uh, and uh, they will do well. But in between, what we do is very important and uh, we have to put greater focus in our grassroots, in our coach education, in our league, in our youth leagues and also focus more and more on our women's football. So therefore, this is the best time for all the stakeholders to come together and work as one, which is very important. Uh, we are greatly collaborating with our state associations. We have increased our uh, dialogue and engagement with all the clubs and the government is also proactively supporting the initiatives of All India Football Federation and now what we are looking forward is how we strengthen the bond between all of us so that we can really work with a greater focus, with a greater desire to fill the gap. We have many gaps in our system, uh, in our structure. We need to see that our youth players get more and more game time, competitive games, and our scouting improves. And at the same time, we also start focusing on, on developing 
coaches and uh, our under 17 team in the recent AFC championship in Thailand uh, was in a, in a tough group with Vietnam, Uzbekistan and Japan. Uh, we narrowly lost to Uzbekistan, we, we drew with Vietnam and then we scored four goals against Japan, uh, the champion side. Uh, they, they beat Korea 3-0 in the final and scoring those four goals and 8-4 score line, that was the best match of the uh, AFC Under-17 Championship and which once again exhibited that we have talent, we have uh, the passion, we have the commitment and we can also deliver. Uh, what we need is that the gap in our competitive youth structure, how we can really improve. And that is where we have already decided that we will have uh, from this season under 13, under 15, under 17 leagues. And by 2026, we will be able to give 35 games, competitive games to our youth players. And that way we will find more competitive players who can then be prepared and ready to take best in Asia. And the game against Japan or the game against Uzbekistan did display where we lack and what are their, our opponent's stance are. So therefore, we are very conscious of those gaps and that's how we have strengthened our technical department in AFF to bridge those gaps, but it won't happen in one day or two days. We have to keep working hard with one focus and grow our team. Uh, a team which will work hard to create a team having a winning mentality and the mentality of the senior side, what we see, they are eager to perform on the pitch and the kind of football they are playing. I don't know when we saw last time. In the last uh, 10 years, uh, I personally haven't seen uh, this level of uh, exhibition, this level of confidence, uh, in this level of uh, movement, and this level of uh, team spirit and all that. Uh, thanks to all the players, the coach and the support staff.